Welcome to Whiskey and Weapons. We're back again, guys. The mystery box. It's been on Twitter. It's been on Instagram. Nobody's guessed what's in it, have they? No, not, not a single person. Shall we give them a wee clue? Go on, then. So, it's a distillery that has been opened and closed several times. Mm. It is off the west coast of Scotland. Oh, and it is fed by a lock. Are, it, we, are we getting a Ted? Every whiskey distillery. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Let's see. Get it open. Nice little knife there. Bought from 31dover.com. Next day delivery. Excellent deal. You can't ask for a bit better than that, can you? You can't. Oh, it's the long awaited. Is it? Ardbeg. Oogadal. Oogadal indeed. Look at this. Long awaited, you're not wrong there. I know. It's a How long... long's it been since we've had a bottle of this? Oh, man, it must be a year. No? More? No, it's not quite a year. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Too long still. Too, Too long. long. <laughs> Too long. So this is uh, bottled at 54.2%. Mm -hmm. Non-chill filtered. Quite interesting. I'll give you a little bit of history while he's doing the uh, the honours, shall I? Yep. A welcome committee card. Sign up online. Already a committee member here. <laughs> it's got to be when you love it. So, as I said before, um, this is a one a distillery that's closed a few times uh, during its ownership. So it was closed between 1932 and 1935. That was due to um, economic, uh, economic instability. Um, it was then closed again in March 1981 until 1989, so those poor people were hard big list for that long. Uh, and then, let's have a look, it says the in 1996 the doors at Arbeg closed once again. Thankfully we were saved a year after that by Glenn Moranti who took it. Mm. And now that's why we've got the hard bag that we know and love. Yeah, we certainly do. Listen to this. Ah, oh, it's there. I'm just waiting for those. Oh, I'm just waiting for those notes just to drift across. Oh, there yes. Let me let me delay no longer. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> this isn't well. I say this isn't one for the faint of heart. This is the one that I turned this young man over to. Never drank peaty whiskey before this. Didn't like it. No, I like the sweet, malty, subtle notes of a, a lowland whiskey. But this does not disappoint. Certainly doesn't. Look at the colour. Oh, man, I'm excited about this. I'm genuinely excited about this. Let me give you this. Oh, you're too kind. I would say those measures aren't quite what I do, but you know, they're not bad. Oh, they're not listen bad. to them. <laughs> listen to them. Oh, man. The Light colour, because apparently a young whiskey um, rounded out with a bit of an older sherry cask whiskey. Sherry cask yeah. whiskey, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, if you could be here, if we had smell of vision this room's just oh, opening up with that peaty fire. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't wait to nose this. But just before we do that, a quick rundown of how they um, actually make our bag. The ferment fermentation vessels that they use are made from Oregon pine. Is that how we get our phenolic notes in there? Mm, carbolic as well, yes. Excellent. Oh. Something a bit different, isn't it? It is, yeah. Do many whiskey people do that then? Um, just to listen to they do that, huh? If they do, I don't know about it. Oh, very interesting. Oh. It's like a very light ambery colour, isn't it? Just uh -huh, uh -huh. reflected on the light. Oh, man. My mouth's watering thinking about this, I'm telling you. <laughs> this, we know, is going to be good whiskey. Let's have a little smell of it, shall mm -hmm. we? Let's have it. Yes! <laughs> that is oh, it. Oh man, I love it. Oh man. That is that's amazing. <sighs> We've talked about just smelling whiskies before. And this truly is one that you could just sit there and take in. So mm. undoubtedly the first thing you get there is peat. Yeah. Peat smoke, tobacco. But what's that peat smoke like to you? Oh, it's very minerally, isn't it? Mm, mm -hmm. It's lovely. Yeah, In it's intensely smoky. Oh, intense isn't the word, mate. Get that salty sweetness following up straight after the smoke, and then that's when you start picking out those individual flavours. Yeah, yeah. That can only be put down to the 
peat that they get from uh, the ivy um, um, next to the seaside. The maturing in the barrels next to the seaside. It's got to pick up them flavours, hasn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. You've got that brainy, smoky, leathery. Oh, it's got it's got quite a strong tannic leather note there, hasn't it? Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very nice. Like, um, almost like you're downwind of a barbecue. That's the kind of, that's what brings it to my mind. Yeah? Yeah. But uh, you smell a little bit coffee there. Dark black espresso. Yeah, almost like a cocoa powder. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. That's lovely. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. a bit spicy as well. It's got that. It's funny because a lot of the Idy whiskies have got this, the black peppery note right ah, on the end yeah, of the palate on the nose. You know, I love it. Very nice. Fifty parts per million. The malt that goes into this, one of the highest malted, uh, highest peated whiskies out there. So I'd beg says. Look at that. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Look how oily that is. It's absolutely fantastic. That. So what are we expecting from this, the flavours? Amazingness. Okay, <laughs> that'll do, that'll do. <laughs> Delay no longer. You've got to do it, haven't you? Let's get into it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just taking oh, a moment. Oh, man. Just a moment, just to enjoy that. Wow. Ugh. Oh. That doesn't disappoint that, does no, it? No, no. I, I would deem this the ultimate Oogadal. This here, right, bar no other whiskey that I've tasted, and I've had quite a few, is my favourite. The Changer. It certainly is. And this <laughs> is the middle of the road one, this. So they do the Ardbeg 10, which is their like, generic um, Ardbeg. Mm, good whiskey. Oogadal. Which next is next one up. Amazing. And then the Corrie Vrecken. Personally, I prefer the Oogadal to the Corrie Vrecken. Interesting, as do I. Very. Mm. Let's get some some uh, some tasting notes on this thing because okay. I'm just going to sit and enjoy it. Otherwise, it's it's rich, it's concentrated. What's the first thing that happens though? You put it in your mouth. Obviously, it's a little bit high um, ABV, fifty four point two. That heat, yeah. That deep smoke, P E yeah T C P kind of kick. In my opinion, this does not need watering down. It's, no. it's all about that heat, that peat. Mm. We are going to do a, a, a little drop of water in this. Not yet, we're going to do a few tasting notes first, but we'll put a drop of water in this. So, Have you seen that water. clinging to the side of the glass? It's, mm-hmm. The lines, it's... Right, it is. Oily. It's just trying to crawl right up to my mouth, mm. that's all it is. It certainly is. So, Not your mouth, mine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so getting like a... Once you get past that peat, and that iodine medicinal note you've got the tobacco the cocoa powder and then you get sort of burnt licorice treacly yeah licorice tar like yeah, tar yeah. brush it's like a really dark treacly taste isn't it when i taste this i almost envision a newly laid road the tarmac still hot fresh that kind of smell that's in the air yeah towards the middle of the uh tasting experience there there's a bit of a sharpness comes from a, a citrusy note i was gonna say almost a limey yeah note. maybe you can't pick that one up but whether it's lime lemon I just, mm. it's got that citrusy sharpness and it is it's lovely really well balanced i think they've done a marvelous job with this really really you were saying about that uh like cocoa powder mm-hmm it's almost got like a chocolatey orange kind of taste in there. Yeah. Oh so, man, I love that. But obviously, you're getting all these waves of flavour. And then that peach just comes right back around and yeah. bites you. And it stays with you. That's <laughs> oh. what I like. Right, I, I had an hard bag once. Washed out the glass. Put it in the cupboard. Went to bed. Got up in the morning. Opened the cupboard to get a cup out to make coffee. And all I could smell was hard bag. And I just wanted a whiskey before I got out. <laughs> I think if you leave a whiskey glass out empty overnight and you've had an ad bag Oogadale in it, okay, the the room, the glass smells divine. Get back to nose and that now. You've I'm, had a taste and now it's been open a little bit. Well, brings this, out a lot more of the sweetness. This is what I was going to say from the sherry cask. Now this bottle's open and it'll have a chance to breathe, believe me. you. <laughs> it won't have a chance to breathe. That'll be gone next week. No, don't be saying that. <laughs> it's staying with you, so it will be. 
But yeah, now it's had a chance to breathe a little bit in the glass. It's the sweet notes, the raisins. Sweet fig. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. It's just got so much going on. It's dead complicated. Almost reminds me of like a, a cured bacon. I get that. Yeah. yeah. That's uh-huh. so bizarre that you say that. Do you know like when you cook, um, ever cooked streaky bacon yeah. over a barbecue? Oh. I'm going to do what I feel is almost unforgivable because I really do like this whiskey do just it, as man. it is. But I already know what this is going to do, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to put a drop of water in and I'm not talking a lot. That is enough. Sacrilege. You going to do it? <laughs> no. Oh, Am I going to do it? Then you'll have fun fishing that stone out. Ah. Whiskey, um, the World Whiskey Awards 2016 Gold Award. 2015 Gold Award. Do you know what that's done? Tiny drop of water like that. Opened up those sherry notes. It's made it more sweet, a little bit more sickly, raisiny. Oh. I'm looking at this one now thinking, should I have? Well, would you like to have a smell and see what you I think? I'll have a, I haven't had a taste yet, so don't beat me to it. I'll hang on to this one. You pass me that one. Well, yep. Hang on a second. <laughs> have a smell of that. Sweet, raisiny, Sherry takes away just that little bit of harshness. I mean, I like the harshness. It does, it does. It's almost slightly harder to pick out those notes, but I see what you're saying. We've been rattling on so long, the camera decided to shut off. I'm sorry, but this is just such a special whiskey and it's so close to my heart. I'm a committee member. I'm going to get up there this year for any special release they do. Mm. I'm so jealous that my cousin has the uh, Supernova. Sat on his shelf, he went to the release. Never told us. Because we'd have been there too, wouldn't we? Sneaky little. But this time, I'd say this year, we'll be up there for the releases and we'll see what we can get. So we can yeah. get something a bit special. You know what, though? He'll be watching this video. Maybe, maybe we can appeal to his kind side. Oh, have a taste of that. That's the uh, the water on Psych! Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually quite good. Pick up quite a lot of vanilla on yours, actually, surprisingly. That's just my lip gloss. Um, <coughs> yeah, smoother. It takes away the fun from the Ugadol for it me. It does. Ugadol, sorry. That's it, the name of the lock that uh, they feed the distilleries with, how where all the water comes from. How interesting. How interesting. It's almost all in-house. Um, the thing for me about the Ugadol is that first taste. When I tasted this up in Scotland from a, a, a wee whiskey shop, had many whiskies had this on um, on tasting. Yep. A little tiny shot, the first taste. It just hit us in the face, and oh, I was I was it, changed, man. Every time I try this whiskey, it takes me straight back to that holiday in Scotland. Mm. I mean, I've been drinking it a long time before that, but it takes me straight back to sitting up in front of that open coke fire. Mm-hmm. You know those burnt, you know, um, like tarry notes you get from the, the coke. Oh, it's just. Fantastic whiskey, I think. Well, I don't want to keep talking to these guys. I'd, just, I'd like to get on and finish this. Should we get on and drink it? Indeed. Okay. It's been fantastic for years to come along again. That was the surprise. Absolutely amazing dram. I couldn't recommend it any more highly. I really couldn't. The Ardberg Ugadal. Get yourself one. It's well worth it. Well worth every penny. Every penny. It's been uh, nice having you along. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment, and if there's something you'd like to see, let us know and we'll see what we can do about it. Remember to follow us at, at Whiskey and Weapons on and Twitter. Whiskey and Weapons on Instagram. Also, we'll be putting pictures up of reviews we're doing and reviews we've done. Um, we'll keep you up to date with anything what's happening. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.